We return now to Israel's war with Hamas and the shockwaves it's sending around the globe. Close to 3,000 people have now been killed in the conflict, and while it's thousands of miles away, there are concerns violence could boil over in cities across the U.S. Israeli officials say the leadership of Hamas has called for a global day of rage tomorrow. Action News reporter Kate Nemeritz joins us live in the studio tonight with how Central Valley law enforcement agencies are preparing. Kate? Margot Warren, the FBI released a statement saying it is aware of a call for action by Hamas tomorrow, which may lead to demonstrations in communities throughout the country. Law enforcement in the Valley says they have been briefed, and while there have been no credible threats, they are on alert. Prayer vigils and rallies have been held throughout the week in Fresno, calling for peace and the end to violence in Israel and Gaza. Members of the Israeli and Palestinian communities have voiced concerns for their loved ones caught in the violence. At times, tension rose between pro-Palestine groups and Israeli supporters when an Israeli flag was raised in downtown Fresno by city leaders to show support for the Jewish community. Seeing those pro-Palestinian protests here, it's just, it's just unimaginable, unbelievable how human being can demonstrate after the horrors that Israel been through. They've been living under siege for 16 years and nobody's hearing our side of it. And it's like they're raising the, pal the Israeli f occupation flag here, but what about the Palestinian people? It's not fair. They're dying. They're dying as we speak. Fresno police officers served as a barrier between the two groups, but it is calls to action made in online forums by militant group Hamas that are raising concerns for law enforcement. Israeli officials say the leadership of Hamas has called for a global day of rage Friday that security agencies warn could become violent. The FBI said it is working with state and local law enforcement agencies to, quote, share information and identify and disrupt any threats that may emerge. Both Fresno Police and the Fresno County Sheriff's Office say they have been briefed, but there have been no credible threats at this time. The police department says it is increasing patrols in areas that are considered more sensitive, and the sheriff's office is at the ready to assist if necessary. They're urging the public to remain vigilant and report any suspicious behavior or threats. Keep an eye out for anything that looks unusual, uh, anything that you see maybe on social media uh, where it looks like somebody might be plotting to do something. Uh, nothing can be taken um, uh, for granted in a time like this, so uh, please make sure to report that. Just days after vandalism at Temple Beth Israel, threats are a constant concern. It's provocative, meaning it really does provoke people. And that is very likely why we were attacked uh, this, uh, this week. Um, it's happened before. Um, I hope it will not happen again, but I'm, I'm not naive. And so we keep constant vigilance. Bassem al Kara with the Council on American Islamic Relations says while tensions and emotions are high, he's hopeful both supporters for Israel and Palestine continue to have space to peacefully pray and demonstrate. People, people have freedom of speech. People on both sides have the right um, to express their grief, their anger uh, about what's happening. For every human being out there wants peace, wants to live in dignity, and wants to live in freedom. And the Palestinians are no different. Police Chief Paco Balderrama says they encourage people to exercise their First Amendment rights, but to remain peaceful. Warren, Margot. Kate, thank you.